Hey everybody, Eric with MountModernLife.com. Today we are going to talk about a stinky subject, and that is our gray tanks and our black tanks. Now, specifically what we're going to touch on is how we handle making sure there's not a stink, and also how we handle trying to keep our sensors clean so that we can get an accurate reading on our sensor gauges. Now, uh, before we move forward with exactly what we do, I do want to touch base on a little bit of our experience just to give you an idea. So when Katie and I first bought the RV and when we first moved into it, we focused on using those little pods for the black tank. So every time we would dump it, we'd drop a pod in there um, along with putting a decent amount of water in there. Um, and then what we noticed is that after a little while, every time we would dump, um, we would get a, a stinky smell that come in uh, and it would last for probably about five, 10 minutes and then it would go away. Um, but it was pretty rough when it came in and we didn't like that. Also, what we noticed is that uh, even though we would just dump our tanks, our sensors would still say that it's two thirds or full, which uh, got kind of frustrating. We were trying to know when we needed to dump our tanks again. So we started looking around for different options that we could use, and that's when we came across the GEO method. Now, you may have heard about the GEO method. It actually originated, I believe, back in the 1980s. And when they first came out with it, uh, they generally used a combination of water softener with chlorine and, uh, say, your dish detergent or something along those lines. Most people used Dawn back then. Um, so ours is a little bit different, but uh, real quick, we'll dive into our approach for uh, keeping our tank from smelling and trying to keep the sensors clean so that they give us accurate readings. So we just dumped our black tank and our gray tank. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fill up the uh, toilet or put some water in the black tank. Generally, I'll run it for about a minute just to make sure that there's a couple gallons of water down in the bottom. We'll do that real quick. So I'm not sure if this is uh, an exact science, but generally we'll run it for about a minute. Um, that's just what we've learned works best for us. Uh, use your best judgment and go about it that way. Uh, but the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to try to take care of making sure the sensors are clean. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use our water softener. Now this specific brand uh, I've heard is the best. We've used it uh, and it's worked really well for us. Uh, generally you can pick it up from uh, Walmart uh, fairly easily, no big deal. Um, there is also a powdered water softener. If you're going to use that it's recommended that you actually mix it in with some hot water first to let it dissolve and then pour it down your tank. Um, but generally what we do is we put about two capfuls down in the tank. Um, that way it'll last and spread around uh, while uh, we're using the tank throughout the process before we have to dump it again. That's one. That's two. Now, the next step we'll do is we actually take and put borax down there. Um, and from what I've read, borax does uh, a similar thing as the um, water softener as well, as far as uh, helping to soften up the water and things like that. But it's also a really good cleaning agent. Um, so it may be overkill, but this is the approach we use. So we have our borax in a, a little plastic container here. And generally I'll take about one scoop and then I'll dump that down with some water as well. A little extra for good measure, help it swish around down there. So now we've done um, enough to kind of help make sure the sensors are clean and the water soft so that when we dump it should hopefully take everything with it. Now we need to focus on the smell. Now a lot of people will use Dawn detergent. We actually don't have any Dawn, so sometimes we will use our kitchen uh, dish soap, um, but uh, more often than not, we'll actually use our laundry detergent, and we'll take about a cup of this and dump that down in there. And then that's about it for this run. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the beginning, we did use the pods. Um, however, we've noticed that since we have went to this method, uh, the smells have really dissipated and we don't generally get them as much. Um, and then also our sensors are much more accurate. Uh, when we dump, they actually go down to empty and show us our 
um, our full read as we're going through the process of uh, figuring out when we need to dump next. Uh, but that about wraps it up for the blank black tank. Uh, as far as the gray tank goes, um, generally what we'll do is we won't add soap or anything like that down the drain because there's already soap getting in there from when you take a shower or do the dishes, things like that. Uh, but we will take water softener and generally we'll pour it down the drain before we jump in the shower so that there's a good amount of water that gets down there and mixes up with it and helps um, uh, spread out throughout the gray tank as well. Um, but overall, that's about it. That's the way that we use the geo method. Um, there's a lot of different ways out there. Definitely do your research, look around, see what works best for you and what you're most comfortable with. Um, but uh, for us, we've had good success with that. Uh, but if you guys have any questions or comments, definitely feel free to leave them below or visit us at mountainmodernlife.com. Thank you much for swinging by today and watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys again soon.